patreon.com slash the walk off podcast uh four dollars a month gets you in there so we had uh hag and danner haggy d on the show about a month ago and he was talking about his rehab last season just missing most of that triple a season and then how well he played in the arizona fall league and he was just just mentioning to adam and i how he really felt like this was his year to make an impact on the toronto blue jays and his confidence that he could do that and and be a legitimate piece in the bullpen kind of it gave us confidence too right when there's a guy who just seems like he he's ready and, and he's fired up to make a contribution so I actually believe he is going to impact the Blue Jays this year. I'm curious if you had to pick one guy within the organization that is yet to play in the big leagues and contribute to the big club to actually join in and make a contribution. Uh, what name should we have our eyes on? It's funny that you say, yeah, you feel like this is the year that Hagen Danner impacts the Blue Jays. I would have said that last year, honestly, yeah. when he was added to the 40 over the like last off season mm-hmm. uh, and then just unfortunately had the elbow issues, but I mean, you know, looked good in the spring, looked good in early April. And then just this crazy, just disappeared, just ended up missing the year and then resurfaced in the Arizona fall league, like sitting 98 uh, <laughs> yeah. and low in like power sliders past guys. And it was like, Whoa, you know? Um, so like, I, I, yeah, I think Hagen Danner is, is a, an obvious name. You mentioned Addison Barger, um, Spencer Horowitz maybe is, is a yeah. guy. Uh, I think Yasper Zulueta pitches for the blue Jays this year. He's on the 40 man. I think he would have pitched for the blue Jays last year as well honestly if you didn't run into some knee and shoulder issues um the question right now will be like is that kind of out of the rotation or or in relief blue jays is stretching them out in spring training as they should because he has a, a you know a starter's body and a starter's repertoire so you'd never give up on that and if mm-hmm. you go to triple a and be in the zone and throwing strikes and like getting the swing and miss with uh you know some pretty electric stuff like you might have something on your hands there but if uh the command isn't there or if there's a really pressing need in the bullpen maybe Zulouette is a guy out of the bullpen adrian hernandez another reliever who i expect to pitch for the blue jays the you know the the changeup specialist um who has like wh- whose changeup is a legit big league pitch bat missing pitch uh profiles really well there's just question about the fastball and whether the fastball can play at the big league level and whether you can survive in the big leagues with really only a change up as your really legitimate above average weapon i mean the blue jays have been working so hard with adrian hernandez just to get a bit more velo on the fastball and and you know doing some strength and conditioning stuff with him he's just not the biggest guy naturally he doesn't have the biggest frame so i'm sure there's only so much that they can really do there but if they can get the fastball velo up a little bit i do think that he's going to be a real weapon for them out of the bullpen. Um, so those are kind of the names that, that come to mind right now. I guess those are all the 40 man guys, but like having that, or Hernandez might not be on the 40, but Zulueta and Dan are certainly on the yeah. 40. Hayden Younger, another name. That's another guy. Right. I think you could see pitch for the Blue Jays this year in a bit of a, not like a one inning relief role, but like a six, seven, eight, nine batter relief role. You know what I mean? Oh, like really? Take a, okay. Take a trip through yeah. the lineup sort of deal that's like that is a role that's going to be really important in the game in coming years and i think the teams are really going to start utilizing that one trip through reliever a lot more going forward um and i think the blue jays are trying to actually develop it with hayden younger and with some of the the other players in their in their system i bet you that guys like trent thornton and thomas hatch nate pearson fit into that role this year as like a one trip through reliever. Um, and I think the teams are going to be a lot more purposeful with kind of utilizing players in that role. It's not just a reliever coming in to mop up innings and like, Hey, we just need some length out of, you know, Casey Lawrence or whoever out of the bullpen today to like, to save our leverage arms. It's like, no, you are purposefully like someone who's going to come in after say you say Kikuchi takes two trips through Nate Pearson's going to come in and face nine hitters and take one trip through like, and still give you a that. legit chance to come back then. Yeah. Or even in a game that you're ahead, right? Like we're right. going to use you in like in leverage spots and spots where the game's on the line and try to get you through nine hitters and see how many outs you're able to convert there. Don't worry about saving anything for a second trip through. Don't worry about having to show different looks or save some gas in the tank. Like just go out, air it out for nine hitters and and throw your best stuff. I think that guys like Pearson, Younger, 
Hatch, Thornton. I think that's going to be uh, the way that they're utilized going forward. It's going to be interesting to see how important that is in the game. Arden, do you think it's safe to say the depth on this team is much better than it was last year, especially when you we're talking about guys like Zulu and Danner being healthy now and just another year to guys like Younger and some of these other guys? I mean, it, like it is better until, you know, Jose Barrios's shoulder is barking and he goes on the IL and like Alec Manoa takes a comebacker and breaks a bone. And it's like all of a sudden Drew Hutchinson's starting, right? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, yeah. The depth is great as, as long as everybody's Depth is healthy. great until, yeah. <laughs> until you need <laughs> until things it. things go wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and performing as well. Like, I'm sure the Blue Jays felt like they had decent bullpen depth last year as well. But then, you know, some of these names, right? Zulueta, Hernandez, Danner, these are all guys who we expected to impact the Blue Jays last year. And for injuries reasons, like, didn't. So uh, yeah. and you can even point to, like, Nate Pearson, how many years now has he been someone who's going to impact the blue jays at the big league level and realize his potential and he has had just so many um lost years so uh you know you, you yeah you try to build out as much depth as you can it's incredibly important when it comes to relief but i don't know you never really know how strong the depth is until you have to test it you uh you mentioned stretching out Jasper zulueta uh, in triple a maybe the potential to bring him in as a starter that fifth starter in this rotation is obviously one of the biggest question marks the Blue Jays have. How do you see that playing out in the early phases of the year? Is it a Yusei Kikuchi is going to get some run there or Mitch White? Is he, is he threatening for a, the fifth spot? Are we going to platoon really based only, on matchups? It's really only your, your fifth starter for the first week of the season, right? Is what you decide in spring training. And then after that, who knows, right? By two, three weeks into the year, the Blue Jays may have used seven starters, right? Who knows? Um, so it's really only a, a competition for like who starts the fifth game of the year. And there's even like the, always that off day in there on the second day of the season. So you don't even technically really need a fifth starter, but you know, <laughs> teams are still, you're usually being kind of careful with workloads early on and easing guys in, right? So uh, yeah, I think that you say Kikuchi probably opens the season as the fifth starter and Mitch White probably opens the season in the bullpen if he's if he's healthy if he's ready to go we heard a little bit about a shoulder impingement with him and him being a little bit behind so we'll see if uh you know just where his readiness is and how he kind of responds to increasing workload and intensity over spring training but uh yeah i think kikuchi out of the gate likely and then uh we'll see i bet you mitch white's gonna make starts for this team um i bet you drew hutchinson's gonna make starts for this team uh zach thompson's gonna make starts for this team mm -hmm. uh you know casey lawrence is gonna make a start at some point this season i mean the blue jays are, are gonna go deep into their starting depth as, as every team does